Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoime, aka Massage Nerd, and today I'm at the Alliance for Massage Therapy Education um, Conference. And here I got Carol Verner. Hey. Hi, nice Great meeting to you. Be here with yep. you. And she's right here. Okay. <laughs> I just had to point that out. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so how did you get involved in massage then? Massage therapy came into my life um, in my early 20s. I was coming from a, bit, a dance background that flowed into studies in yoga and tai chi, martial arts, those kinds of things. And this is a long time ago. This is back in the 70s. And there was just a community that was very uh, engaged in all of these studies, and massage was a part of that. And so naturally I began to study it um, uh, just as an interest, not as a profession. Uh, and, um, and sort of drifted away from that uh, for a few years while I was having a family. Okay. Uh, gave more attention to that and then came back because the profession had grown so much in the intervening years and the opportunities to study. Uh, so um, in the, the early 1990s, uh, got involved with body work again, but I actually came in um, uh, with a, a really deep interest in craniosacral therapy and studied that uh, uh, with John Upledger and then eventually, uh, maybe about 10 years ago, went through extensive studies with Dr. Michael Shea. Okay. So my massage therapy studies were flowing along through all of that. Um, at the same time, I was also very interested in uh, mind-body approaches. So I did a lot of study in body-mind centering, Bonnie Bainbridge Cohen's really beautiful uh, experiential work. Uh, and those kinds of disciplines uh, okay. for for this offer that I have. Yep. And did you have any mentors or anything while you were going through massage school or the continuing education or anything else then? Um, well, a number of mentors, and um, you know the ones that really come to mind are the people who embody uh, what they're teaching. Uh -huh. uh, so you know, I certainly think of people like uh, Mike Boxall uh, in the cranial field, Bonnie Bainbridge Cohen in in body mind centering. Um, uh, certainly, um, uh, Farah Allen, Libby Outlaw in the field of massage therapy, Stuart Walker, uh, some of my early teachers uh, that influenced my work a lot. Okay. And then um, what do you, um, what are some good traits of an instructor, would you say? I think that a good instructor uh, is really enthusiastic about learning. Okay. Uh, a good instructor would be um, curious. Uh, and curious not only about the subject matter, but about just the phenomenon of learning, and especially about the learner. Okay. Uh, curious about the student, um, what works, what doesn't work for the student, uh, developing that relationship uh, with the student to help them uh, really discover their capacity for learning. And some students come in with that quite naturally. Um, some students uh, you know, are, are sort of the educationally wounded and need help. Okay. along those lines. Yep. And what are you currently doing now then? Uh, so um, I'm senior lead instructor in anatomy and physiology at the Body Therapy Institute okay. in Siler City, North Carolina. I've been there for 18 years oh. in that role uh, and I just I feel still that it's one of the biggest challenges in my life. Not an easy thing to do and um, the capacity to really grow and have impact uh, that reaches out beyond my therapy room uh, really makes a difference to me so my commitment is is through that outreach uh, of what all those students will end up doing through the people's lives they touch. Uh, so I've got that as one um, piece of my professional life. Uh, I'm a certified and registered yoga teacher uh, in the tri-yoga tradition and um, uh, a licensed massage therapist and a registered craniosacral therapist in the biodynamic tradition. So. Okay. Uh, um, one more, <laughs> and all of that, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a very synthetic life for me, just sort of bringing in skills and teachers uh, uh, that really uh, foster my growth and development as a person um, that uh, become a part of what I'm doing. So Richard Strozzi Heckler is one of my teachers. I'm a certified somatic coach through the Strozzi Institute in California. Okay, yeah. cool. And then um, how'd you get involved with the Alliance then? Well, um, you know, just truth to tell, it's because my boss uh, helped create it. Okay. <laughs> so, so Rick Rosen is, yeah. is, um, is a dear friend and uh, illustrious leader uh, of the Alliance and is the founder of the Body Therapy Institute where I've been teaching all these years. Uh -huh. And I had the great pleasure of meeting Rick a number of years before I became a part of the faculty there uh, and really admired and liked him very much. And, uh, so um, when Rick and his colleagues were working on the generation of uh, the Alliance, I had the opportunity to hear about it really early on and to see his enthusiasm 
and I really trust Rick's enthusiasm because he's been a leader uh, in understanding the um, uh, really the politics of the whole massage therapy profession and um, licensure issues and looking at uh, national issues around educational standards, those kinds of things. So. Uh, when Rick got excited about this and told us what he was working on, I jumped on board. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. questions asked. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, it. that's yep. it. And it seems like so many people are happy about what's going on here, too, with the, the, the classes and oh, stuff. Oh, this is yeah, tremendous. Yeah, yeah. This just far exceeds my expectations. Yeah. And I knew it would be wonderful, but um, what's really exciting for me is I'm learning so much here. Yeah. Uh, that's really yeah. uh, very explicitly valuable to me to take back into the classroom. So uh, it's yep. been a great experience for me. Yep. And what's the easiest way for people to get a hold of you if they're interested? I have a website, okay. www.carolferner.com. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pleasure meeting well, thank you. Thank you so yeah. much, Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>